Well, a huge uh, election day, one we're still trying to catch up with uh, for voters all across the country. And here in the Mid-South, we've got you covered from Tennessee to Mississippi to Arkansas, including winners in key races. Good evening and welcome to the special edition of your local election headquarters. I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Tonight we have instant election results scrolling at the bottom of your screen. And we will bring you interviews from across the state. Local 24 News bringing you live coverage out of, of it all on air and online. Let's get right to the Tennessee Senate race between Republican Marsha Blackburn and Democrat Phil Bredesen. Millions in outside money, three presidential visits. Democrats trying to turn this red state blue, Republicans hoping to keep the seat in Republican hands. ABC News declaring Blackburn the winner about two hours ago, folks. And you can see why when you see these numbers. Marsha Blackburn winning by almost a quarter of a million votes at this point with 85% of the precincts reporting. Republican Congressman Marsha Blackburn's campaign watched results from her watch party in Franklin, suburban Nashville. And that's where local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live tonight. That's right. Brad, a lot of celebration there tonight. Yeah, there certainly were Richard and Katina. After uh, Congressman Blackburn joked after eight terms of being called Congressman, Congress Lady, even even Marsha, she said she's more than happy to be her new title, Senator. This after a resounding win against Phil Bredesen tonight, and in doing so, Blackburn becomes the first U.S. Senator as a female in Tennessee history. Now, a short while ago, Blackburn walked out to cheering crowds here at the Franklin Marriott. She talked about thanking her volunteers, family, and staff, and their strong grassroots ground campaign in helping bring the campaign victory home. Senator-elect Blackburn also thanked Bredesen for a hard-fought campaign and said her door is always open to him and his supporters. Blackburn said her sizable victory sent a message across Tennessee and the nation. They want leaders who are going to tackle the big problems. And they want leaders who are going to be there to work with the president and keep this nation on the path to prosperity that we are on today. Now, Senator-elect Blackburn said her transition begins tomorrow. The work begins tomorrow as she transitions from one chamber of Congress to the other in Washington, D.C. Blackburn also said tonight she's already received a congratulatory phone call from Vice President Mike Pence. She also thanked President Donald Trump for his three visits to the state of Tennessee to stump for her in recent months. Reporting live in Franklin, Tennessee, for your local election headquarters, I'm Brad Broders, Local 24 News.